Are you ready to practice pronouncing the sentences? Yes. Yes? All Good. Right. All right. So, sentence 37 is about Lorna. Lorna hid her new blue bicycle in the long tunnel. Yeah. Let's first figure out what are the phrases. Phrases. Lorna hid her new blue bicycle. All right. In his in the long tunnel. Okay, very good. So we have a prepositional phrase. Prepositional phrase. Do you remember this word? This prepositional yeah. phrase. Yes. Yes. Yeah. In the here's our, long here, here's the preposition. Yes, right. Yeah. And the tunnel yes. in the long tunnel. Here's yeah. the object tunnel. Yeah. yeah. What kind of tunnel? Adjective, long tunnel. Long Article, the. The long tunnel. Yeah. This is a noun phrase. So in the long tunnel is a prepositional phrase. So that's a good phrase. And then the other part here, Lorna hid her new blue bicycle. All right, so the verb is uh, hid. Is it transitive or intransitive? Hid. Hid, transitive, VT, or intransitive, VI. Does it have an object? Is there an object? What did Lorna hide? What yeah. did Lorna hide? Uh, yeah. VT. VT or bicycle, right? Yeah. So this one is VT, and we have an object here, the bicycle. And we have two adjectives, a blue bicycle and a new bicycle. And then we also have a, a possessive adjective, her, her bicycle. So her new blue bicycle, all of this is the complete object phrase. Subject, Lorna. Verb transitive, id, her new blue bicycle, object, and then this tells the place, it tells where. This is a prepositional phrase. We need some new pens. Sure. Let's see if the red one is better. P-R-E-P -E for preposition, P-H-R. That's for phrase. phrase. Okay, that's best. Now let's pronounce. Listen, I will say maybe a word or two, and then I would like you to pronounce after me. Lorna. 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 Lorna hid. Lorna hid. And let's not tell the adjectives. Let's just say the direct object. Her bicycle. Her bicycle. And notice how I'm putting my tongue on bicycle. Bicycle. Yes, I'm not saying bicycle, mm. huh? but I'm using my tongue all bicycle. Bicycle. Blue bicycle. Blue bicycle. New blue bicycle. New blue bicycle. Her new blue bicycle. Her new blue bicycle. Lorna hid her new blue bicycle. Lorna hid her new blue bicycle. In the long tunnel. In the long tunnel. All right, let me help you with this word. Ta no. Watch the shape of my mouth. A uh, for ta and o. o. Ta no. Ta no. Tunnel. Ta no. Tunnel. Ta no. Tunnel. Ta no. Long tunnel. Long tunnel. In the long tunnel. In the long tunnel. Good. All right. Now from the beginning we'll say Laura hid her new blue bicycle in the tunnel. In the long tunnel. <laughs> Lorna hid her new blue bicycle in the long tunnel. Very nice. Now in this sentence, there is a place that we can omit. <sighs> Do you see it? Um, Where is a <sighs> that we can delete? Hidden. Okay, we can delete this and this link this one over like that. Hidden. Yeah. All right, so we can say Lorna hit her new blue bicycle. Yeah. If we can say the whole phrase, then we can omit this here. Mm. If we cannot say the whole phrase, how many syllables? Da, 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 da. We cannot say so many syllables, we don't want to stop and say L Lorna hit her new blue bicycle. That's not good. So this part, her new blue bicycle, because this all belongs to the object, it has to be smooth all the way from the beginning until the end of the phrase, like this. 
Lorna hid her new blue bicycle. Lorna hid a new blue bicycle. Very nice. Can you make this word longer? Because this is the action. This is the verb. So this should be longer than the other words. Lorna hid her new blue bicycle. Okay, this is exactly what I don't want you to do. Uh. Don't say hid her and then pause here. Uh. Because that's very bad. It's better to keep the H and keep these together because it's more important to keep all of the object phrase together. So if you can do it from the beginning to the end, then you can omit the H like this. Lorna hit her new blue bicycle. Lorna hit her new blue bicycle. Good. So I put a little pause right after the name. A little pause there. And then I can connect all of that. Let's go to the end and say, in the long tunnel. In the long tunnel. So what did Lorna do? Lorna hit her new blue bicycle in the long tunnel. Lorna hit her, uh, hit her, Lorna hit her new blue bicycle in the long tunnel. Okay, good. Let's try the next one. Let's talk about Nellie and Lenny. Nellie and uh, Lenny. Where is the verb? Verb, hit. Okay. Is it a transitive verb, VT, or is it an intransitive verb, VI? Trans transitive. It's a transitive verb. Okay, so here's our transitive verb. What is the object? Uh, object, tennis ball, balls. Right, the tennis balls. Okay, so here are the balls. That's of the object. What kind of balls? Not basketballs, not soccer balls, but tennis balls. So we have... Also, we look at the subject, we say we have two subjects. We have a compound subject. Mm -hmm. A compound subject means there are two or more parts to it. Here's Nellie, that's subject number one, and here's Lenny, and that's subject number two, joined by this coordinator that connects the two of them together. So now we have Nellie and Lenny hit tennis balls to each other across the net. Can you tell me what are the appropriate places for phrasing? Uh... Lenny and uh, Lenny hit tennis balls. Put one here? Yes. Okay. To each other across the net. And put one here? Yes. Okay. Mm. Do you need any more? Any more uh, to each other. To each other? Okay. Any more? Uh, it's okay. Uh. <clears throat> so we have to say Nelly and Lenny hit tennis balls mm. all together. Or I would say, if necessary, you can put one here for a compound sentence because we have one, two, three, four, five syllables. And we have here six, seven, eight, nine syllables all together. Can you say nine syllables? Okay. If it's a little bit hard for you, then stop after the name. Remember what I did here? I put a little pause after the name Lorna. And then I put all of these da 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 because one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, that's a lot of syllables. Right? So if you are going to go like this and then you stop here, that's bad. Right? So don't stop your litter. Let Lorna hit her. <sighs> that does not make sense. Yes. So we have to think about where is it reasonable for someone to understand your idea. That would be a better phrase. Yes. All right? So let's start out with short phrases. Then we can add the phrases together. Nellie and Lenny. Nellie and uh, Lenny. Yes. Okay. So let's try to make this short and just make it sound like mm. Okay, let's just make it makes easier to make da 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 da. So long short, short, long short. Nelly and Lenny. Nelly and Lenny. Nelly. Nelly and Lenny. So it's especially good for you to pause here because these are hard names for you. So it's a good idea yeah. to take only five syllables, yeah. right? Nelly and Lenny. Nelly. Try not to say and up. And up. Not and up. Say mm. Mm. Nelly and, and Lenny. and Nelly. That's better. Nelly and Lenny. Nelly and Nelly. Nelly and Lenny. Nelly and Lenny. Oh, those sound like same person. <laughs> Let's try again. Na 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 Lee. Na 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 Lee. Nelly. Nelly. And then the second person, 
is la 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 ni la ni na ni la 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 na ni na na la 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 can be this one la 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 ni ni la 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 na ni okay you need you need to work on that this is hard for you let's continue hit tennis balls hit tennis balls hit tennis balls hit tennis balls to each other to each other Okay, so notice here we could you see this T here? Yeah. Hit and this T here, so we're just gonna hold it. Yeah. Hit tennis balls. Hit tennis. And then here balls. what are we gonna do? Cha over ch here. Ch ch other. Ch other. Okay? So when we think of this phrase, it's all one like this. Pretend it's one word to each other. To each other. To each other. To each other. Right. Okay, to each other. To each other. And how do we put these together? We put this little little what in here. To we, to we, to we, to we, to each other, to, to each, each other, other, to each other, to each other, to each other, to each other. Good. Okay. Where? Across, across the, the net. Across the net. Across the net. Across the net. To each other. Across the net. To each other. Across the net. Hit tennis balls to each other. Hit, uh, hit tennis balls to each other. Hit tennis balls to each other across the net. Hit tennis balls to each other across the net. Now let's put it together with those hard to say names. Nellie and Letty hit tennis balls to each other across the net. Nellie and Nanny hit tennis balls to each other across the net. Mm -hmm. Nice phrasing. All right, let's go to this one about Nancy. Nancy held her little bundle of joy, Ishu, Huala, lovingly in her arms. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's see if this word held is a transitive word. verb. Okay, it's a verb. Mm -hmm. And is it transitive or intransitive? VT or VI? Mm -hmm. Can we ask the question, what did, Nell, what did Nancy hold? Something. Yes, something. hold something. Hold something. Hold something. Three T. Good. Okay. So here's our subject, Nancy. Singular, Nancy, and then three T. What's the object? Joy. Okay. So what we have is the the grammatical object is actually the word bundle. The word bundle is the actual object because after what does she hold? She held the bundle. We have here a little prepositional uh -huh. phrase. So this object is the object of the preposition of, not the object of the verb held. But this is a phrase, bundle of joy. So if you consider this whole thing, bundle of joy, as a phrase, then you could say so. So how about this? She held her little bundle of joy. This tells lovingly. This tells how. So this one is an adverb. What do you call this? Okay, she held her little bundle of joy lovingly. Where? In her in, arms. In, right. Okay, so here we have another prepositional phrase. In her arms. Yes. Okay, let's say this with arms. Arms. All right, arms is a good pronunciation. And then we can do this. In her, ar her arms. In her arms. In her arms. Now, how about this? In we don't need that H. In the rocks. Yes, that's good. So what happens with in her, mm. it sounds like this. Sounds like this word, inner. Inner. Right? Inner face. Inner arms. In okay, arms. so how are we going to break up this sentence into phrases? Where do you want to pause? Okay. Nancy held her little bundle. Here? Yeah. Stop here? Yeah. Of joy and lovely. And put your here? Yeah. yeah. And in, her, in the arm. And then here? Yeah. Okay. I have to say I don't agree. Yeah. Maybe I also can do... Not Nancy. also. This is not a good way. <laughs> uh, Nancy okay. held... A... Remember I told you that this is a phrase. Remember I said this one, this is a phrase, a special, a special phrase. Mm -hmm. So if it's a special phrase, you don't want to take it apart. Mm -hmm. A bundle of joy is a phrase. It's a set phrase. So keep that one together. Don't break this one up. Okay, lovely. Before lovely. Yes. 
Okay, and this one's not lovely. This is lovingly. Oh, uh, lovingly. Yes. So, what's the difference between lovely and lovingly? Two different words. Uh. Lovely is an adverb, adjective. For example, we can say, it's a lovely day today. The sky is blue, the temperature is moderate, it's not too cold, it's not too hot, it's not too windy, it's not raining, it's a lovely day. Okay? Maybe you say, oh, you are wearing a lovely shirt. Or you just met a lovely woman. That means somebody who's nice, somebody who's attractive, something that you feel comfortable with. It can describe a person. It can describe uh, a day, the weather. It can say, we had a lovely time at the theater. That can describe an activity. So this is an adjective. Now, sometimes we get mixed up because ad lots of times L-Y is used for adverbs. Most of the time, L-Y suffixes are adverbs, but sometimes they are adjectives. In this case, it's an adjective. You can use it to describe a person or thing. Lovingly, notice that it has one more syllable, right? We have one, two, three. So this is a three-one three, one word. I have to have all the three syllables, and you need to say this part, too. Lovingly. Lovingly says you do something in a loving manner in a showing your love, okay? So that's an adverb. So we can put the adverb, pause around that, and then this, this part, I agree, that's good. So let's try it. Nancy held her little bundle of joy. Nancy held her little bundle of joy. Good, let's try just saying this. Bundle. Let's just say right here, let's just say these three words, bundle of joy. 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 Little bundle of joy. Little bundle of joy. Little bundle of joy. Little bundle of joy. Don't move. Don't lose the o. You have to keep that that syllable. Sometimes I hear you miss the syllable and you say bundle. So I want to make sure you have the. Remember the schwa is in here. Bundle of. Bundle of. Right, good. Bundle of joy. Bundle of joy. And here again, we have the schwa before the L. Little bundle of joy. Little bundle of joy. Good, very nice. Nancy held her little bundle of joy. Nancy held her little bundle of joy. Lovingly. Lovingly. In her arms. In her arms. Okay, just say inner. In the. In her arms. In her arms. So I'd stress this word, not this word. Stress uh, arms. In her arms. In her arms. Good. Nancy held her little bundle of joy lovingly in her arms. Nancy held her little bundle of joy lovingly in her arms. Okay, good. The only thing I want you to do is not say in her arms, but in arms. Right. The only thing that, this was very good, but the stress here should be on arms, not on preposition. Yeah, in her arms. Right. Okay, let's go on to Lester. Lester tripped on a slippery lawn and hurt his leg. Okay, so we're hurt. Transitive or intransitive? V-T or V-I. Yeah, VT. VT? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, what is the object of her, what did he hurt? What did Lester hurt? His leg. Leg, right. So, his leg, this is the object, right? Subject of the sentence is. Subject is which word? Subject. Which one is the subject? Here's the subject. Nancy verb. Held object. Bundle of joy. Subject number one, Nelly. Subject number two, Lenny. Object. Okay, got it. it. Okay, which one is the subject for first number four? Lester. Right. Tells the person, the actor. Lester. Now, 
What kind of word is this? Nope. So how do you say that in English? Uh, in English is a verb. 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 Okay, what kind of verb is it? Is it VT or VI? VI. VI, why? Shipped on. Okay, so on a slippery line, you see that as a preposition. That's a prepositional phrase. You cannot say what did Lester trip because here there's no object. You can say where did Lester trip, okay? And we can use a prepositional phrase. Here's our preposition, on, right? And what is the object of the preposition? On. No, Where? the preposition is on. Yeah. Which yeah. one is the object of this preposition? Object. The object of the preposition. Uh, sleep, sleep. Object. Okay. The lawn, lawn. Lawn, lawn, right. This is the object of the preposition, not the object of the verb, not object of the verb, but the object of the preposition. So on a slippery lawn. Slippery, remember this is an adjective. So this is an adjective. A-T-V. No, A-T-J. Yes. Yeah. So we call this in Chinese a... Adjective. Adjective. in Chinese. And in English we say... Adjective. Ad -d -ad 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 adjective. Adjective. Right, adjective. adjective. So the D and J just makes one sound. Adjective. Just makes sound like a J. Adjective. Adjective. Okay, good. Um, and see, we have this coordinator, just like this one is a coordinator, Nelly and Lenny. Yeah. So we have another verb. This this sentence has two verbs, a compound verb. Yes, yeah, it has and tripped and, and hurt. hurt. Right. Now this one, regular or irregular? Regular verb or irregular? Irregular. Irregular? Irregular just... Regular is... Regular is... Regular is... No, 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 no. Remember we have here? Uh, yeah, come on. Come, I give you these words. Yes. We call these irregular verbs yeah. because these don't have ED e endings. Okay. So, if they have ED endings, then are they regular or irregular? Regular. So, when they have ED endings, then these are called regular verbs. Yeah. Regular verbs have ed endings. Yeah. How about this one? A regular verb. Right. And regular verbs have ed endings and they have three different pronunciations. Mm -hmm. D and id. Remember? Yes. Okay. Which is the one we use here? What is the sound? What is the pronunciation? T. T. Okay. So we say, lesser tripped on, <laughs> tripped on the tripped slippery on. lawn. Okay? A slippery lawn. Okay, now inside of this prepositional phrase, we can link here, right? Mm. How do you say that? Anna. 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 Okay, when you say Anna, be sure you have your tongue here, ne, mm. and not here, l. Mm. Not on l. Anna. Not on l, but Anna. here, ne. Anna. 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 Right, on a slippery lawn. Anna. It's the same ne here. Long. Okay, so say, on a slippery lawn. On a Slippery lawn. On a slippery lawn. On a sli slippery lawn. Lester tripped on a slippery lawn. Lester tripped on a slippery lawn. All right, good. So we need to pause right here. Mm. But I heard you have a uh in here. I heard you say tripped on. S tripped on. So we don't want to say tripped on. Uh. We want to say tripped on. A... We have to say this link together. So you have a t sound here, right? Mm. So can you move it over and say trip down? Mm. Let's the trip down a slippery. Trip down. Say trip down. Trip down. Trip down. Trip down. Trip down. No. Trip down. Trip down a slippery lawn. Trip down a slippery lawn. Good. If you can say this whole part here, mm. you can sound like this. Lester tripped on a slippery lawn. If that's too much, you can say like this. Lester tripped. 
on a slippery lawn. You can put a pause right here, okay? But we try not to do Lester tripped on uh, a slippery lawn. That would be a bad place to put phrases because it's not a phrase. So try it again. Lester tripped on a slippery lawn. That was better if you put one here, but I heard you put what there. You said wanna. This is not what. No what here. This Anna. just yes. Okay. Next Good. Honor. Tripped. Honor slippery long. Okay. Good. And of these words, which one is the focus word? Which one is the key word? Which is the strong word? Long. Long. Okay. So the other words long. need to be shorter and lower and smaller no. on a slippery lawn. Lester tripped on a slippery lawn. Very nice. Okay. Then we can continue with the rest, which is short, and hurt his leg. And hurt his leg. Good. So if we say hurt his leg, we can get rid of this one and link over. Hurt his leg. Yes, and hurt his leg. But we still hurt want to it. keep a, a short, long, short, long, and hurt his leg. Mm. And hurt his leg. Hurt his leg. Okay. Number 41. Pam kept laughing, here's our Jerry, at the comedian's funny jokes. Do you see a prepositional phrase? Uh, okay. Uh, Pam kept laughing. So uh, my question is, do you see a prepositional phrase? Okay. At the, at the camp. Comedians, funny jokes. All right, good. Here, at the comedians, funny jokes. This has a lot of syllables. At the comedians, funny, funny jokes. jokes. So let's see if we can just say this one, but we'll start here. Let's say funny jokes. Yeah. Funny jokes. Funny jokes. Funny jokes. Funny jokes. All right, now let's say this word. Comedians. 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 Funny jokes. Comedians. Funny jokes. At the comedians. Funny jokes. At the comedians. Funny jokes. Good. Okay. Pam kept laughing. Only four syllables. That's easy. Uh. Pam kept laughing. Pam kept laughing. At the comedians. Funny jokes. At the comedians. <laughs> Funny jokes. Pam kept laughing at the comedian's funny jokes. Pam, Pam keep, keep laughing at the comedian's funny jokes. All right, good. 42. Sam has known Marilyn since they were freshmen. What's a good place for us to make uh, a pause? Since before. Okay, before the word since. Yeah. And then at the end, okay? Before. Now, um... These, these are two parts of a, of a present perfect verb. Which one is more important, has or known? Known. Known is more important. So let's make this one schwa. And we don't need this H. We can just go like this. Samus. But we don't want to say summons. We have to say summons. No, because this must be connected to the rest. We can never stop there, otherwise it's very weird. We don't want to be weird, we don't want to be strange. So we want to keep the rhythm all the way to the verb. Sam is known. Sam is known. Somebody. And that is? Marini. Nope. Can you see? La, la, la. Marini. Marilyn. Marilyn. Good, okay. Sam is known Marilyn. Sam is known Good. Tell me about this verb no. Is it a, is it no. is it is it transitive no. or intransitive? No. Transitive no. or intransitive? VT. VT? Why? No somebody. No somebody. So here's the object, right? Yeah. Here's our subject, here's our verb, here's our object. Alright, and then we have an adverb phrase that tell uh, since they were Oh, so we have our prepositional phrase mm -hmm. since they were for actually this is an adverb uh, clause because mm -hmm. we have a we have an adverb and we have another subject and another verb, another verb here. Mm -hmm. But all of this can be, because one, two, three, four, five syllables, we can say they're all in one breath, one phrase, since they were freshmen. Freshmen. Since they were freshmen. Since they were freshmen. So Sam has known Marilyn since they were freshmen. Sam has known Marilyn. 
Okay, see. we have to keep this a phrase. Yeah. Okay, try that again. When we keep it a phrase, we have to go like this. If we go, Sam is known, Marilyn, sounds like two phrases. But if we say, Sam is known, Marilyn, sounds like one phrase. Yeah, Sam, Sam is known, Marilyn. Okay, good. What do we have here? We're missing this. Known. Yes, because otherwise it sounds like your grammar is bad. It's no, no, no. So we have to be able to say that na 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 sound. Yeah. Sam is known, Marilyn. Sam, Sam is known, Marilyn. Since they were freshmen. Since they were freshmen. Right, and we want to know freshmen where? Let's say. Okay, so which we don't know, we don't want them to be high school freshmen. We want to be college freshmen. So we can say, since they were freshmen, we'll put a pause here, at Stanford University. At the Stanford University. Good, now can you say the whole thing? Sam was now married. No, make sure you get this as a whole phrase. Okay. All right? Sam was now Sam is known married. 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 Mm -hmm. Sam was now married. Mm -hmm. Since they were freshmen mm -hmm. at Stanford University. Very nice. Okay, number two, 43. William. William laid the leather billfold on the shelf. What uh, would you like to? William, uh, before on. Okay, before on. That's easy because we have on the shelf. That's a prepositional phrase, right? Yeah. Let's just say shelf. Shelf. Oh, oh. Shelf. Shelf. Uh, on the shelf. Shelf. On the shelf. On the shelf. Good. All right. Let me show you another one. You know uh, somebody who cooks as a very special chef. 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 We chef. have ch in spelling mm. from French. In French, the ch is like uh, the English sh. Chef. Chef. And this one is not shelf. chef. This is shelf. Yeah. Right. On the shelf. Right. Okay. So let's say this word. The leather billfold. The leather billfold. All right. William laid the leather billfold. William laid the leather billfold. Let me hear you say this word. Laid. Laid. Right. William laid the leather billfold. William laid the leather billfold. On the shelf. On the shelf. All right. So when we say this word leather. Leather. Oh, oh leather. S sound. This one is also a sound, okay? Leather. William, this one is a, a sound. Laid. Yes. William laid the leather billfold on the shelf. William laid the leather billfold on the shelf. Okay. I want you to get that sound, a? A shelf. 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 Now I want you to get this sound here, and I want you to get this sound here. So now v, but w. Not uh, but mm. Mm. William. William. Isn't this a wonderful name I chose for you? You'll get to practice all those wonderful sounds. <laughs> William. 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 What did William do? William, William laid the leather billfold on the shelf. That's what he did. Okay, good. What about James? James led the group along the lane to collect cans and bottles to recycle. Mm -hmm. What about <sighs> pauses? Uh, James led the group okay. along the lane okay. to connect, collect cars and Oh, sorry, bottles. not cars, cans. Oh, uh, cans mm -hmm. and uh, bottles. Oh, you know what? This yeah. is missing something. And what, what's missing here? And bottles. Yes, okay. To re recycle. Okay, so if you want to put a pause here and one here. Okay, let's try that. James led the group. James led the group. I have a cousin. I have two cousins with the name James. James. And you know James also has the name Jim? Jim. Have you heard this name? James and the nickname Jim. Jim. Okay, so if you see somebody whose name is Jim, Maybe on the passport, it could say James. Okay. Many times, these two are related. So uh, in my family, I have several people named James, and some use the nickname Jim. Or maybe you've heard Jimmy. Jimmy. And maybe you've heard Jamie. 
So this name, James, can have more than one nickname. But we're going to say the whole name, James. James. James led the group. James led the group. Okay, and, and we'll look at our verb here. This is our verb, right? Yes. Lead, led, led. Yeah. Transitive or intransitive? Yeah, right. Uh, it's uh, BG. BG, okay, because we have the subject, yeah. we have the object, the, uh, group, object, the, group. the group, right. Object. Oh, yeah, we didn't do about William. What about Lady? How about this one? What kind of verb is this? Yes. Is this VT or VI? This is a letter for VT. VT, okay, this one's VT. Yeah. Okay, so we have our subject, VT, yeah. object is? And uh, billfold. Billfold, okay, and the object. Good, all right. So James led the group where? Along the lane, along the lane. Along, along the lane. Along, 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 along the lane. The lane. The lane. Along the lane. Along the lane. What for? To collect cans and bottles. To connect. To collect. Yes, not to connect them, but to collect them. Right. To collect cans mm -hmm. and bottles. Good. Okay, can we make this like that? Cans and bottles. Cans and bottles. All right, so we're going to put this over here. Cans and cans and bottles. Cans and bottles. Okay, what for? To recycle. To recycle. All right, good. Let's say it. James led the group along the lane to collect cans and bottles to recycle. James led the group along the lane to collect camps bottles to recycle. Mm, that's a little challenging, right? You know, you can have more practice. But let's do this number 30, 45, about Leland. Did Le oh, about Leland and Lillian, too. All right, so Leland, did Leland and Lillian leave Cambridge for London at the same time every morning? Where are we going to pause? What are the phrases? We could do a compound subject, right? Can we do a compound subject? Double subject. Uh, uh, four before. Here? Yeah. Okay. All right. And for London, uh, at before. Before at. Okay. Right here? Uh, before video. Okay, so we have a compound subject. Compound subject means yeah. subject number one and subject number two. Yeah. Right? And, mm. Leland and, yeah, Leland and Lillian. That could be fine. Maybe uh, leave Cambridge for London together. Leave All right. Cambridge for London together. Okay, you can put it together, or if you need to, I'll put a dot, dot, dot. Possible. You can mm. put a call pause right there. And then, how about the end? Uh, every every morning. Oh, okay. Here, here. Okay. All right. Let's try that. Did Leland and Lillian? With uh, Leland, uh, Leland, and Lillian. Okay. Lillian. Let me help you with the second name. Lillian. 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 Leland and Lillian. Leland, Lillian. Leland and Lillian. Leland and Lillian. Good. Very nice. Did Leland and Lillian? Did uh, Lillian and Lillian? I don't hear it. Here. Yeah. Did Leland and Lillian? Did uh, Lillian and Lillian? Okay, so we have to be careful because you're making some extra uh, uh. and then you're taking away some necessary uh, mm. so then the rhythm is not quite right. Here we don't want you to say, did the Leland. So don't put any uh here. Did Leland here? Then it's okay. You put the uh here. Le did Leland and Lillian? Try that. Did uh, Lillian, Lillian. Those names don't sound different to me. Did uh, Lillian, did uh, Leland and Lillian. Oh, it's getting better. Slowly, slowly. Mm -hmm. Leave Cambridge. Leave Cambridge. Right. And this A, this is A sound. Cambridge. Right. 
Cambridge. Leave Cambridge. For London. For London. At the same time. At the same time. Every morning. Every morning. All right. Let's try a little bit longer phrase. The Leland the Lillian. Did the Lillian. Did the Leland and Lillian. Leave Cambridge for London. Leave Cambridge for London. At the same time every morning. At the same time every morning. Every morning? Yes, good. You changed your intonation. That was good because it shows that you're asking a question. I wonder if we could do the whole sentence from beginning to end. Shall we try? All right. Do Leland and Lillian leave Cambridge for London? At the same time every morning. Did the Leland and Lillian leave Cambridge for London at the same time every morning? Every morning? Yes, <laughs> nice. Okay, good work. Uh -huh.